not a relative or family. But I see him as an acquaintance who amuses me when I am bored. Many of them call him now. Back in the day, I had a woman please stop. I had a little sign in my mentality. But you think that in Cassia, little Cassia. When we started this journey over 24 years ago, he was somewhere acquiring his fake degrees. Fake. You can't stand here and say this is a professor. Then I already got it off with any professor. Professor of what? What has he published? You know, we admit something. We admit something. We made a mistake. In 2015, we made a grievous mistake by bringing someone from nowhere to Government House Calabar. And we'll pay dearly for it. We have regressed this state over 30 years. It's worse than I met it in 99. And he has a temerity to send me a text telling me such nonsense. You know, when you're a governor, you're the chief security officer of the state. When Ensa struck, he was the first one to run. Even his ADC did not know where he was. He is the most cowardly person that has occupied government house. Coward. Absolutely. Coward. Now, he says, why is he, why is he the object of this campaign? Why not? We are going to campaign on your records. It's a good thing and a blessing to us that he left PDP and went to where he is. Because you know they say, water finds his level. He has found his level. Level of non-entities. That's where he is. It's not my place. It's not my place to derogate anybody. But I find that for that man, who has ridiculed our state to this level with obtuse and stupid budgets. You don't raise more than 100 billion, you say you're budgeting 1.3 trillion. Are you crazy? Then you give it 